Hello and good afternoon from Glen Shee in the Eastern Highlands in Scotland. Me, Kevin, Stevie and Grace of the Collie, we're all heading off for a well camp tonight. We're going to do two Munros at the back, Tall Mount and Tom Vuey, and they're at the back of Glen Calater. So we're just uh, by Calister Stables, the Buffy. Take you for a quick tour. Ah, very nice. It's, it's actually not bad at all. I have to admit, I've always been put off this Buffy because it hasn't got a fire. Actually, a nice little bunkhouse this, eh, Buffy. This is neat. That's us just left the Buffy now, and we're on Jocks Road. Heading up to the Munro's now. It's quarter past three, so uh, we'll need to crack on a wee bit. So we're up pits for back at five, six o'clock. But it's looking a lot more interesting now. We've got Loch Calater to our right here, and we've got the nice crags coming down off the Munro's as well. So aye, let's crack on. Having a well deserved seat. What's the time, Kev? Wrap a clock. Yes, I'm starving. I needed that mackerel wrap. It was delicious. Is my face clean? <laughs> that actually reminded me of when my dad used to spit in a hanky and wipe my face. Disgusting. Did anybody else's parents do that? Because honestly, see if I tried to do that on him now. Yeah, watch it. Anyway, we're heading up Jocks Road. You can barely find a path, never mind a road, but nevertheless, we're making good progress up this slope. And that there is our first target. That one there. This is what we're headed up. And this is where we've been all the way along this river and then up the stream here. Well, this is the summit of Tolmont or Tolmont, whatever it's pronounced. It's just a little bump in a vast plateau. What is it, Gracie? What is it? You want a bow? You gonna get? You gonna get? Go then. So we're all pitched. We're just gonna get dinner prepared and all that sort of stuff, but. We'll take a tour of the campsite. So Stevie has brought along his uh, Hilleberg Solo. How many mortgage payments have you got left? Oh, quite a few, yeah, uh, Robin. Yeah, still paying this one. Uh, you never thought about um, putting it on um, in your garden and putting it on Airbnb and get rental for it? <laughs> nah, just to cover the overheads of the, the tent cost. <laughs> I can see the attraction to these, actually. Because I was talking to Raymond about them. Um, he's like the roughy deer, but it's rock solid, like. Ah, they're good tents. <clears throat> I've got my usual, well, not my usual, but I've got my um, lunar solo with me. This is pitched much better than my last attempt. <clears throat> it's shedding wind quite nicely as well. Probably just totting it up a wee bit later. And Kevin's got his big palace, the Flames Creed. Hardly a palace, but it's, it's huge. Very spacious. 
delicious on food. You're lovely. Evening campers, Kev's takeover here again. Not a bad night. Gracie, Gracie, who's a bomb? Who's a bomb? Gracie, here. Aye, these hills are, um, I don't know, a lot of people do them in winter. And uh, especially these two, Toman and Tom B over there. Watch this, it's going in your tent, Kevin. Better not go in my tent. Oh. Why though? Let's see if we can hit Robin's tent again. Mmm. <laughs> God, that's good hot chocolate. It's a Brody's one that I pinched at a hotel. Well, I never pinched because I paid for it through the room, but you know what I mean. Mmm. That's good. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Oh, good morning, campers. Morning, campers. It's currently what about half five? Yeah. And it's going to be a lovely sunrise. So I think I'm just going to saunter up to the summit and see what it's like. As sunrises go, that wasn't too shabby. Don't think there's any point going back to sleep, so we're going to pack up early and uh, get rattling, get get breakfast, and get rattling around these Munros. <laughs> That's us set off. It's a bra morning and we're heading off for the next Munro uh, Tom Bowie Right, we're on the summit of Tom Bowie and we just discovered that the pitches up here are plentiful so if you want to do something similar you can get a summit camp up here it's more grassy, less bouldery and there's only a metre in difference between the two, this is a metre smaller, at 958 I think it was. Uh, so I missed a trick there. Nice one Robert. Boom. So this is the summit of Karna Clace. It's one of the highest, but not quite. I think Glass Mall over that way gets that title. But there's some fine views up here. Right, so now we're heading off to our next target, which is, I think it's Karna Turk or something like that. Before we go over to the Munro, we're going to have a goosey gander at uh, Corrie Lock Kander. We're going to have a dander along. We're going to dander along to have a gander at Lock Kander. <laughs> Shut up, yeah, I'm talking pish now. <laughs> Corrie Lock Kander. Well worth the gander. This is rather stunning.
this is us on the last Munro now of the day. Let's see, where's Kev? Go get Kev. There's Kev. Go get Kev. Go get him. Go get him. Please. So we've came over to a minor top called Carndu. It's high enough to be a corbett, but I don't think it's got the drops that's needed on the other side. But we're going to head up to the summit anyway. You never know, it might get promoted. So that that one there, that's a corbett. I can't remember the name, so I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. This is where we came up and over yesterday when we dropped down to the boffy. So they might bag the corbett, but I've done it before, so I'm going to. Um, pick up the path I came up yesterday down here and back to the car and then I'll meet these guys half an hour 40 minutes later she's back in the car anyway that's about all I've got time for just now I'm going to sign out and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching